Hello and welcome back to my channel. So with Thanksgiving a few days away, I thought, hey, let me give them a mashed potato recipe. But not just any recipe. I brought you the mama of mashed potatoes. This is a Southern style mashed potatoes. These potatoes are decadent, they are creamy, they are delicious, and everything in between. Let's get into this recipe. The ingredients we're going to need are potatoes. Every good mashed potato needs potatoes. Now here, I went to the store to get the ingredients I needed because again, this is a last minute video and I forgot potatoes. So I have an array of potatoes here. I like all kinds of potatoes. Y'all know I like potatoes. You could use any potato that you like. Now these purple, dark purple potatoes are not like a sweet potato of any sort. They taste just like a regular velvety, yummy potato, but they have this beautiful inside. Y'all see this? So it is very beautiful inside. So the potato, the mashed potatoes might look a little purple, a little lilac, but that's okay. We just need potatoes. And I have about 10 medium sized potatoes, as you can see, you know. But you will see what you need. All the ingredients will be in the description box below. Okay, we're also going to need butter because, again, any good mashed potato needs some butter. I have my Yoko's butter here, and it's half of the block of my Yoko's, which equals to one stick. Again, all the ingredients in the description box below. Now, I'm using chicken bouillon. Play along here. You'll see, remember, we're making southern styled mashed potatoes. What does that mean? They are decadent, honey. They are full of soul delicious goodness. So just play along. Now, I have some granulated garlic here, some salt and pepper. Always, always, always use freshly cracked black pepper. It tastes better. Now we have here some cream cheese. Remember fam, all of this here is made out of plants, everything. So we have some cream cheese here. We have some sour cream because it needs that tangy. And it's not tangy, the mashed potatoes don't come out tangy. It's just, it balances all that decadence. We have, and if you really wanna go Southern Southern, you, be, you would be using mayo. But we're gonna roll with the sour cream because y'all ain't ready for that mashed potato with the mayo. Let me know in the comments below if you're ready for that mashed potatoes, okay? Now we have some milk. Now the milk with mashed potatoes, because the potatoes do absorb some of the water when they're boiling, you want to thread lightly. So we're going to slowly incorporate that and see how we go. Now to garnish, most people use, you know, dry parsley or fresh chives. I'm actually using green onions because I just like the flavor of it. So I'm using green onions, but please feel free to do whatever you like at your house. It's your home, make it comfortable. Enjoy what you're doing and consuming. Anyway, let's get into the cooking. Okay, so here we have our potatoes. Now with our potatoes, we have some options. We can either put them in the boiling water like this. It takes a little longer to cook. The pros of doing it like this they don't absorb as much water. If you want to add more milk, or other things, that's the pro of that. Now, if you want to do this fast, you want to chop them down, the smaller they are, the faster they cook. I'm going to just give them a little quick chop. For this size potato, I'm just gonna cut it in half, just like that. And I'm gonna do that to all of them, and I'll be right back. Okay, so our potatoes are all chopped. Now, if you have different size potatoes, you want to all you want to do is make sure that you cut them to where they're an equivalent size. Like for example, I had a potato that was way small. So I actually didn't even, I cut that one because I wanted to show you guys what it looked like inside. But I'm leaving this basically whole in compared to this one because they're about the same size. So here they're all chopped up and look how beautiful they are. They look like a geode, like an amethyst geode. Okay, so here we have our pot of boiling water. Now, some people say to put the potatoes in on, you know, room temp water and bring it all up. I don't like that method, 
So this is what I'm doing. Now we have chicken bouillon. I'm going to add it to the pot to add just a little bit of flavor while our potatoes cook. Now you don't have to do that, but I would recommend that you do. It just adds a little something. They're, the mashed potatoes are not gonna taste like chicken. They're gonna taste, and again, guys, family, friends, it's vegan <laughs> chicken bouillon. <laughs> now, it's not gonna taste like chicken. It's going to have the flavor of all the other seasonings. Look at this, how beautiful. Oh my gosh, we're literally eating the rainbow. Okay, so you just want enough water in the pot to cover your potatoes. So go with your better judgment here. I'm using about 10 potatoes and I have enough water to cover them. Now I added the chicken bouillon and these are going to cook for about 20 minutes. And I can see 20 minutes, it might take longer. I will put everything down below. But the most important takeaway, when you are cooking your potatoes at home, you want to be able to stick a fork in the potato. And if it goes all the way through, that's when you know your potatoes cooked and it's about depending on the size of your potato that's how you go off of how long it should be cooking typically for this size potato it's about 15 to 20 minutes with the water already boiling because if you start with the water at room temperature and then you add the potatoes and you have to bring it all in it might take longer so keep that in mind boiling potatoes is easy don't stress out it's all it's all chill fam it's all chill <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna let these cook and I'll be right back. One more thing, what you don't want, going back to the cooking time, what you don't want is for your potatoes, let me just move this around. What you don't want out of this is you don't want your potatoes falling apart in the water. You don't wanna overcook them because then it's just a mess. You really don't want that. You just want to be able to put a fork or a knife in very easily and that's when they're ready. Oh, by the way, if you don't want to use the bouillon, which I would suggest you do, but if you don't want to use it, just use salt. Another thing, if you would like to get this bouillon, I sell this bouillon, so just send me a message on Instagram, tell me that you want the bouillon, and I got you. This is the best vegan chicken bouillon out there. I have tried all chicken bouillons, all the vegan brands, I've tried them all. This one by far is the best. This is a vegan, organic, non-GMO, family-owned bouillon that I bring from Mexico. So if you guys would like to have one, please send me a message and I got you. We can make this work. I use it in all my recipes. Well, the ones that use bouillon. But anyway, I'm gonna let this cook and I'll be right back. Okay, there's about three minutes left. And I just wanted to let you guys know if you see a potato that is smaller and it seems that it's already cooked, just take it out. Typically, I chop up my potatoes a lot smaller. This time around, I didn't do that. But um, like this one, this one's cooked already because it's actually smaller than all of them. So I'm taking it out. Now, also, I want to let you know my fire my range is on high it has been the whole time so keep that in mind as well when you're cooking your potatoes let me see if i can find another one so i can show you what a cooked potato would you know how the knife would go in once these are cooked i am going to drain them and then i'll meet back up with you now also if you don't like your potatoes with the skin your mashed potato with the skin just peel them I actually like my potatoes with the skin or without, but, but I really prefer them with the skin. See, it goes right in. Right in. You see that? It goes right in, and you'll be able to judge. There's like one minute left, so they're pretty much ready. I'm going to drain these out, and I'll meet you right back. Side note here. I have most of my potatoes out. It's been about 20 minutes, and most of my potatoes are out. Now that one looks like it overcooked, it didn't. These potatoes, the way they peel is kind of weird, but they're, it's perfectly fine. Anyway, what I wanted to show you is that I have two potatoes still going, but, you know, most, I, when I say drain my potatoes, I actually took them out with a slotted 
one of these and I just took them out because I'm actually not going to get rid of this delicious of this delicious goodness here. I'm actually, you can save this just like you would do with any vegetable stock. Ooh, it's 333. Three, three. Okay, honey, the ascended masters have spoken. Hey! <laughs> yeah, okay, side note. Anyway, I'm going to save this, and you can use this when you need a little something. It's a little velvety and thick, so you can even use it for with pastas, whatever. You can just drink it, which is what I'm gonna do. I um, mean, just a little bowl. You can have a, add a little parm on top, a little green onions, something, just have a little warm something. Don't throw it out, unless you just want to, okay? Anyway, moving on. I'm gonna let these finish cooking and then I'll meet you right here. Right here, in a little bit. In like, in like, like soon, child. I'll be back. You know, that potato's taking her sweet little time. She's a little thicker. Okay, well, while I'm still waiting for this potato to cook, I'm gonna have me a little broth, honey. She a little fat, she thicker so it takes a little longer. But this has the chicken bouillon in there, the flavor of the potato. I'm gonna add me a little green onion here. I'm gonna have this just like this while I wait. Mmm, so good, so good. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Don't throw it out, fam, it's so good. Okay, the potatoes are out. The stuff you see is just a potato thickness. <laughs> I'm going to add my butter. It's all, everything is at room temperature, so as you can see, it's like pretty melty. Another thing to consider, the pot is still hot, so I actually turned it off, but I'm gonna turn it back on. On very low here, low, 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 very low. So if your butter is salted, you have to consider that when you're adding your salt. Okay, I have my butter in. I have, I'm putting in very gracefully, as you can see, my cream cheese. You already know, graceful Sahar. <laughs> I am going to add my sour cream. And like I said before, if you really wanna go down south, do some mayo for that thing, that southern mayo, and veginase will do that for you. Okay. Y'all, I'm not gonna front with you. Where my finger? The steam really got me. Y'all know that potato steam takes no prisoners. Gets rid of them all. <laughs> okay, so I'm melting down here. Basically what I'm doing here is I'm melting all of this. And you know, to help it, I could add the potatoes let me add the potatoes because the potatoes are still hot they're still steamy just gonna dump it all in <laughs> gracefully gracefully dump it all in now my mashed potatoes may look purple due to these potatoes but you know I forgot the potatoes child I forgot now Mashing your potatoes, here let me add a little milk here. Mashing your potatoes, you can go different ways here. Because I like my potatoes, my mashed potatoes, a little, with a little lump, just a little, okay? Some people don't. Some people like to put them through the potato ricer. I don't like to do that, because then that makes them really creamy and then it gets rid of all the lumps. I like the little surprise lump. And, well, that's what we're gonna do here. Okay, I'm gonna mash this all up, and then I'll, I'll come right back. <laughs> My purple mashed potatoes, girl, bye. Oh my gosh, fam, sometimes I get in the groove of cooking and I forget to film. I added the garlic, the granulated garlic, I added the salt, and I added the pepper. I apologize, you know, sometimes, I've been in, I've been, I've been in the group. Oh, and I added another nub of butter because I love mashing it and seeing the butter, like just, you know, I like to press it down with it. So just, just play along here. Oh man, this smells so good. I've never seen purple mashed potatoes. <laughs> okay. I think these are as mashed as I like them, so I'm going, oh, we're gonna see right now. 
I do like a couple lumps here and there. So these are creamy. These are done. These are these are done. I do like the skins, y'all. I like the texture. I like the way they look in them. Okay, let, let's let's give it a little try. Let's let's get in here. See, they might not look the best right now because they're purple, <laughs> but just go with it. Yours is not gonna look purple because you're gonna use probably the most delicious yellow Yukon golden potatoes. Look at that. They are creamy. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, it's so good. I'm going to add a little more salt. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. A good black pepper, fam. A good quality black pepper makes all the difference. You know, use quality ingredients. When you make your food, you always want to use the best quality because it does make a difference. You can't be using low quality low quality ingredients get the best that you can afford okay and that quickly that fast we made this southern mashed potatoes now if you wanted to make this ahead of time you can and what you can do is reheat it in the oven at 350 degrees for about i think i think 300 and 50 degrees for about 20 minutes and I will put everything the exact exacts of everything on the description box below but we're done now we just get to plate them and put them on our table and just like that fam we have an easy delicious mac and cheese I had added a little nub of a uh, butter but after I took the photos he done melted honey but look at that look at that oh and the green onions, you can either throw them in the pot and mix it all together, or you can just top them off, or you can completely omit them. But look at that. It is creamy. It is delicious. Oh, that butter. Look at that. Mm-mm-mm. So, so good. And with this, I leave you, fam, with this delicious, delicious, delicious bowl of mashed potatoes. I hope you give this recipe a try. It is delicious, it is fast, nutritious. <laughs> it is not nutritious, okay? She lied. <laughs> Psych! It is indulgent, baby, but hey, it is a celebratory meal and it's delicious. So give this recipe a try. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and if you did, please don't forget to subscribe like and share and i'll catch you on the next one bye so uh it's taking longer but while i wait i'm gonna have me a little mother